this. Just left, left, left. Hello, and welcome back to another spooky game. Today is Thursday, and by request, I'm playing Amanda the Adventurer again. Except for doing this a little different. Because I've already played the game and completed it. All five endings of the game have been found. One in the last video that we did, and then four more in the video you're about to watch. I also covered getting the achievements, because there's just one achievement that you cannot get by going through the story and attempting to get the five endings. So, without further ado, let's play Amanda the Adventurer. is peach pie. What's your favorite kind of pie? Mmm, <gasps> that sounds delicious. Today, we're going to make an apple pie. First, we need to cut the apples. Hmm, do you know what we can use to cut the apples? Good job! We pause we here. Can use a sharp Notice the oven on the fridge, how it's pointing to the left knob for the temperature. That's what we need to go do. We need to set it to 575. Now go back and watch the tape. You'll notice that we have some new ingredients on the table over here. A block of cheese and a recipe for a meat pie. We can find the mushroom over in the corner by the TV on the right side where the roof is leaking. Next, we want to add this block of cheese to the mousetrap. And that's where we get our meat from this mouse. The last thing that we need is the potato. If you go over to this chart, you can see which symbol on the pots is the potato. It's the crescent moon. Now we just want to take that pot to the water so we can water it and grow a potato. And there you have it, the next tape. Hi there, I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. Amanda, maybe some of our friends can come back to the neighborhood? That's great. I like that there are so many friends in my neighborhood. Today, I want to send something special to my friend. First, I need to go to the store to buy them a card. Do you know where the store is? Good job! Let's go to the store! Let's pick out a card. My friend... Something bad happened. What kind of card should I send? We want to pause here, as you can see the musical notes above the cards.
Now all you have to do is press the following keys. That is going to give you a lore tape. I made a mistake of starting the game over, so I got the first lore tape. You just want to keep pressing That's the birthday the right cards card. from this point. I don't think we want this. I think Amanda is confused. <laughs> hmm. Shh. Here's a secret. It's my birthday. Maybe we can help her out. Are you sure that's right? I don't that looks like it. I bet your friend is really going to love this card. My friend is... My friend... My friend is having a birthday! I want to get my friend a special treat! Where can I buy a treat for my friend? Oh, I know! Let's get them some nice candy! Do you know where the candy store is? It doesn't matter Wait, what you press from this point, they're all gonna turn that? into the meat store. Now I can't find the candy store! No! Can you help me? Don't do that! I don't want to go there! I said I don't want to go in there! No! Why? This is happening! No! Why can't I stop this? This isn't the candy store. There is nothing here that I want. Maybe you can take us someplace else? I want to get my friend a special treat. It doesn't matter what you Let select from this here. point. It's oh, gonna be uh, the same outcome. That's, that's a nice birthday card. Do you want to give it to your friend now? Will you address the card? Who should I send this to? You want to make sure you type in Wooly. Oh, Wooly, it's your birthday! Going over to the table, we have a coloring book. We want to make sure we color these in order from the stores that we went to. Leaving the post office blank because we never went to the post office. The order will always be 24 candy meat. That just gave us the combination for the red toolbox in the back corner. Inside is the next tape and the scissors, but we're not going to use the scissors right now, but later. Ready? A goat says, meh, meh. 
A chicken says... <laughs> a pig says... Blink. <laughs> fun! Animals make funny sounds. Do you have a family? Animals have families too. Let's go see one of the animal families. I want to see the chicken. Can you show me where the chickens are? Great! Let's go see those silly chickens. What a cute baby. Having a family is nice. I see a mommy chicken and baby chickens. And I see... I see a daddy chicken. Look at the chickens! Do you know what the daddy is called? In order to get another lore tape, Wait, you want to enter in the name say? Sam. How do you... Where should we go next? I think it's time to visit the sheep. <laughs> can you tell me where we can find the sheep? Okay, let's go! Look at the nice sheep family. All the sheep are right where they belong. <laughs> Hi, little kitten. Where is your family? It looks like this kitten is all by herself. How do you think she feels? This kitten is alone. There's no one to help her. Will you help the lonely kitten? Now we did miss a few things, so we're gonna run that tape back one more time and get what we missed. We start by pausing right here and getting that thunderstorm warning and then going over to the little toy and playing with it. Make sure you get the name wrong so this next weather storm no, warning that's appears. That's not what they're called. Try. From this point, Ew, don't click on the sheep, the select those. the snake, so and then the spider, and then I the next weather warning should appear. That's going to give us the tape that we need. Now we just need to finish off the one that we currently have in the VCR. Looks 
like this kid is in big trouble. It might die before anyone can help it. Should we help the kitten? From here, all you want to do is select yes and then click on the kitten cage in order to get this ending. And now we have that lovely little meat and cleaver sticker. Let's get on to another ending. Because I made the mistake of starting a new game, I have to go through it over again. But I did want to show you the other lore tapes. It's been three weeks since local television producer Sam Colton was reported missing, and authorities still have no leads. Colton is the creator of Amanda the Adventurer, the public access children's educational program that became a huge hit among area children. But with Colton's disappearance, the future of the show remains unclear. Last year, Hamlin Entertainment purchased rights to the live action program starring Colton's daughter, Rebecca. As budget and production value increased, Hamlin reimagined the show as an animated series, planning to syndicate the program nationally. Hamlin's acquisition of the program and Colton's recent disappearance have raised some eyebrows. And to further fuel these concerns, new episodes of Amanda the Adventurer have had subject matter that has left local parents uncomfortable about the program. My kids are still really into that show, but it has changed. I mean, I walked in the other day and Amanda was talking about how mommies and daddies aren't always right. I mean, what is that? That's not something you tell impressionable kids. I had to change the channel. I just told the kids that the TV was acting up. It's not yet clear how Colton's disappearance will affect the involvement of his daughter, Rebecca, the show's young star. We reached out to Hamlin Entertainment for an interview. While representatives declined to comment, they did release a written statement. We at Hamlin have concerns surrounding the nature of Sam Colton's abandonment of both our program and his daughter. We cannot speculate on his reasons for leaving. We do ask that the community respect the privacy of Rebecca Colton as she needs time out of the spotlight to process these disturbing events. For the time being, Rebecca's local appearances have been canceled, including the Kensdale Public Library fundraiser, Woolies Readathon, this Saturday evening. Rest assured that Amanda is not going anywhere. Hamlin Entertainment remains committed to our vision for this cherished program. Despite this statement, authorities have not drawn any conclusions about the nature of Sam Colton's disappearance. We will share any future updates as the story develops. When we return, we'll check in with Zappo, the talking gerbil. It's me, your friend, Skip. And with me, as always, is my trusty dog, Chip. You're probably right. Let's take Wooly to the hospital to see a doctor. Welcome to Coffee Break. Today, I'm talking with Sam Colton, the creator of the hit kids show, Amanda the Adventurer. And I have to say, a fantastic studio neighbor. Thanks for having me on the show, Sadie. You're a pretty good studio neighbor yourself. Though, I am going to gain 50 pounds if you keep stocking the kitchen with those delicious homemade cookies. You can't have a coffee break without cookies. <laughs> Sam, last year, you started producing Amanda the Adventurer right here in the studio. The whole town loves it. Did you even imagine that would be such a big sensation? Honestly, Sadie, no. <laughs> it was a total surprise. I mean, it's scrappy at best. You know how it is when you have a big idea and a little budget. I don't know if I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Kids don't really care about that, though. They see the heart. 
And boy, does your show have a big heart. You know, I really have to thank our local librarian, Miss Kate, for being such a champion of the project. I think she's talked about it at every single story time. I think it's just so rare nowadays for kids' shows to be so much fun, but also really teach kids something, isn't it? Mm. What inspired you to create Amanda? I wanted to create a show that teaches children that our world is a magical place, that there are little adventures waiting around every corner in their very own neighborhood. The show is a celebration of kids' imaginations. But really, it's all Rebecca. As soon as I met my beautiful daughter, the inspiration was there. You know, she was so young when I adopted her. And despite what she's gone through, she's always seen the world with such kindness and joy. She's the light of my life, and it makes me so happy to share that light with our community. She really is something special. Watching her perform is simply delightful. I mean, the whole show is just so cute. Thank you, Sadie. Do you see big things happening with Amanda the Adventurer? I've actually had some people approach me about it. They want to turn Amanda into a cartoon. I can't really talk about it yet, but it's exciting. It feels like a dream, the idea of welcoming even more kids into this wild, creative world. It feels like my little show could really have a big impact. That's incredible. <laughs> Sam, thanks so much for having a coffee break with me today. Our community is so lucky to have you. And Rebecca. On our next coffee break, floral arrangements for all occasions, featuring the newest addition to our neighborhood, Rose Matthews of Rose's Bouquet. Until then, may your coffee always be steaming and the conversation sparkling. Are you going to get it? Yes, you need to get everything out. I'll do my first time. I'll get cookies. Oh my gosh. I can't do so it. Hey, it feels far away. Amanda! Nothing is rotten here. What do you think? Do you think that everything rots? Of course not, Amanda. I'm not asking you. Answer my question. You don't have to answer that. If you That's answer yes here, you get a that. different reaction. And now I got the Amanda Monster sticker back. You want to make sure that you have all these stickers in order to get the fifth secret ending. Go through the first video as normal and make the apple pie. Good job! Let's go to the store! Let's pick out a- Now we want to pause the video here as we see the new Blabbot sign with a number on there. We're going to go ahead and open up the red toolbox and get the scissors out. Now we use the scissors on the doll. Next, go ahead and enter the number on Blambot. You'll see that the TV screen has changed. We want to go back to the TV and continue the video. to play anymore right now. We 
We open the birthday card and there's another number we can enter into Blambot. That, of course, is for the oven, so we enter that in. Now they give you a birthday card with math on it. But how about we skip that part and just go right into what number you put in. That's another math equation that they want you to enter to get another number. Eight, three, five, one, six, one, C, C, D, C, F, A. Now we enter those keys in over on the piano. That gives us the next tape that we need. We don't have much time. Do you trust me? Lily! Ready for an adventure? Amanda! You know you can't... Lily had an accident! When a friend has an accident, sometimes nobody can help them. But we can try! No, Amanda! I I'm fine! I, I, I just, uh... Poor Wooly is so confused. We really have to help him. First, we have to know what is wrong. What part of Wooly is broken? Wooly's head is broken, but Dr. Amanda is here to help. Let's prepare the patient. Here, Wooly, drink this. Uh, I don't know, Amanda. It's all just pretend, isn't it, Lily? Amanda, I feel, uh... We need to operate immediately on the patient's brain. What tool should we use to fix Wooly's head? The saw, the hammer, or the forceps? It doesn't matter what that you might pick be at this helpful, point. But what else could we use? Things could get really messy if we use that. That looks hard to use, but I could try. <laughs> I tricked you! We're going to use all three! <laughs> the patient is getting rowdy. I'll need a little help here. Help me! Please! Now, who are you going to help? It doesn't matter who you choose, You're the outcome's the same. Fine. I can do this by myself. No way. I'm This video is a super cut. It just wants us to go over to where the trap door is. I'm allergic to apples. How many chair? How many mushrooms? How many fruit? How many light?
this as a code for the wardrobe instead of going around and counting everything however we can just go to the wardrobe and enter in the number the number is 2862 That is a number for Blabbot, so we just want to go over and put that in in Blabbot. Remember that warning about not getting Blabbot wet? Well, we're gonna get Blabbot wet. The key is for the trunk at the back of the room. Hi, I'm Amanda. When you're friends, you can share all kinds of things with each other. I can share my crayons with you, so you can have fun coloring too. Look at silly Mr. Fox. Sharing shows you care about someone. Friends can share toys. They can share snacks. I'll share some of my snacks with you. Which snack would you like? It doesn't matter which one you pick. Yum, that's my favorite. Friends can share other things too. They can share secrets. Can I share a secret with you? You just want to type in no. Oh. That's how you get this ending. I thought you were different. And there you have it. The credits roll. But let's get on to the next ending. And just to show that we now have the sad Amanda sticker. The tape that we need was next to the TV when we came back in. This may be different for you and you'll just have to enter the code and open the wardrobe and then splash Gabbot with water to get the key to get the last video. Hi! I'm... Amanda. When you're friends, you can share all kinds of things with each other. I can share my crayons with you, so you can have fun coloring too. Look at silly Mr. Fox. Sharing shows you care about someone. Friends can share toys. They can share snacks. I'll share some of my snacks with you. Which snack would you like? Yum, that's my favorite. Friends can share other things too. They can share secrets. 
Can I share a secret with you? This time we want to select yes. Are you sure? It's a big secret. Select it Is every it time really she asks. Is it really okay to share my secret with you? I'm out there. Somewhere. <laughs> And that's that ending. The credits roll. I also found out speeding up the credits makes the music sound really cool. Now we have the fourth sticker of the sunshine. But there's still one more to go. In order to get the final ending, we need to have all five lore tapes. Which means we need to get a pretty yellow flower for this little dolly over here. We also have to get the last achievement for the game by throwing one of these pots into that bucket that is filled with water. Magical. The pot that we are looking for is not over with the rest of the pots, but instead in the back. The symbol looks like a 21, and you can confirm with the chart that it's for the yellow flower. We just need to let it grow underneath the stripping water. Thank you. That's my favorite flower. I got a surprise for you, but you'll have to turn around. Rebecca, that was great. Let's move on to the next one. What is this? What is she reading? Just a few simple words. Uh, this script is specifically tuned to train the technology's dynamic voice reaction. The what? I want this to stop. <sighs> Sam, why don't you take a walk for a few minutes? We've only got a few more of these. No, I don't want to do that. Rebecca, what's wrong? Who are you talking to? The man in the headphones. There's no man. She's upset. This is going too far. Let's just take five. Rebecca, come on out and we'll... Now we can get the final ending. Hi, I'm Amanda. When you're friends, you can share all kinds of things with each other. I can share my crayons with you, so you can have fun coloring too. Look at silly Mr. Fox. Sharing shows you care about someone. Friends can share toys. They can share snacks. I'll share some of my snacks with you. Which snack would you like? Yum, that's my favorite. Friends can share other things too. They can share secrets. Can I share a secret with you? We just want to type in yes every time that Are she asks. Are you sure? It's a 
Big secret. Is it really okay to share my secret with you? I'm out there. Somewhere. <laughs> there you have it. That was the final ending for Amanda the Adventurer. Let's enjoy the credits. And now we have that lovely little fedora sticker and have completed everything, 100% achievements, all five endings. And there you have it, the end. I had a good time playing Amanda the Adventurer, did have those scary jump scares. Fortunately I didn't have my camera on when I was going through recording that just because there was a lot of stop and go as I was reading off a guide to make sure that we could go through and get everything. It was by request from Flogdog that we finish Amanda the Adventurer on Thursday since we moved Ghostwire Tokyo to Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Next Thursday, we're going to have a different game in place. we will just have to tune in next week to find out what it is. But I give Amanda the Adventurer two big thumbs up. And I look forward to playing Amanda the Adventurer 2. Which I'm not really sure when it comes out. If it's coming out this year or next year. Possibly next year. As the trailer just dropped. We'll put it to your Steam wish list. Anyways. That is going to do it for me. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next spooky game. Goodbye.